All right. So today I'm walking to campus. There's a bun fight, bun fight to Machari Coco lah, where they showcase all the clubs and all, and then we can choose which one you want to join. So just want to go and see what kind of clubs they have. I never walked this path before. Very green. And then later today we have an induction for the master student for our school of education. We can walk this up. That one is like compulsory. Alright. Alright, so luckily I came out early today to go to the bun fight. Uh, so it is 12 o'clock right now. So most of the people here have woken up. So if you can see the distance, those people are all lining up. So line up all the way back. Like the other side of the building. So it's a very long line. There's several places where you can line up. So in that building over there is where all the cultural uh, clubs are. In the tents over here are all the education clubs are. It's like the black building over that side is all the uh, what do you call that? <laughs> Can, all country, uh, like societies, clubs from many countries and all. And then uh, there's a building behind this one, is where all the sports, sports clubs are. And the building behind this one is where all the uh, Voluntary clubs are like Amnesty, UNICEF, and all like that. Yeah. There's a lot of clubs around, lots of people around. It's fun, it's very fun. Lots of fun. I'm currently at the welcoming party for the postgraduates uh, of. Uh, Masters in Education. So I'm speaking to my new friend here from China and also Luke from England. So, so far so good. Nice people. Okay, so I just came back from my induction uh, class. So basically I met with uh, the rest of my class. Uh, a lot of them are a little bit older because uh, if they're local, most probably they're doing their uh, uh, what part-time job <laughs> it's like they're studying part-time so uh, they're working and studying at the same time so they're a little bit older but a lot of my classmates are really good really fun people really friendly so I had a fun time just meeting with everybody just now so right now I understand what to expect in the next uh, few months uh, they did mention to us that uh, our dissertation is due in March of 2017 so uh, I actually have like a year and a half to do it uh, but I'm not really sure uh, how that's going to happen but in the meantime uh, we're going to enjoy our time we're going to enjoy uh, studying being in this environment uh, being in this country so we're going to enjoy that as well that's why I went to the bun fight so earlier in the morning I mentioned to you that we went to a bun fight a bun fight is like a harikoku where they have a lot of clubs and all uh, trying to buy uh, buy us into the into the clubs so I registered for a few clubs the first one is to Amnesty International, which was a club, which is a society that I was a part of earlier in uh, my my uni life when I was in the uh, when I was in UIA. Uh, I actually uh, was a member of Amnesty International. Uh, Amnesty International is a society that helps with human rights all over the world. So uh, I was a part of that society before, but I don't know what happened uh, once I stopped studying in UIA. I really stopped being a part of the society, which is bad, I know. Uh, so I decided to join them again. 
here in the UK. So hopefully I can do good things with that later on. I joined the Board Game Society because I do have board games. I did bring some board games here from Malaysia. Uh, I got three very basic ones over there as well. Uh, uh, so I joined them. Uh, that is going to be fun, hopefully. I joined the Education Student Society uh, at SOC. Uh, hopefully that will be fun as well. I'm not sure what I can expect from them. Apparently they have a mini golf session on the 7th, I think. So that's going to be fun. And lastly, I joined the... I registered. It's not that I joined yet to any of them. I registered to uh, the Ballroom and Latin Dance uh, Club, which I'm very pumped up about because you can't really join those kind of clubs in Malaysia. You don't really have them. So I'm really excited to uh, be able to learn how to ballroom dance. Uh, so yeah, that's it. That's what I've been doing today. I've been out from the room from 9 o'clock. I just got back here maybe like 10 minutes ago and uh, it's almost 6. So very productive day today and hopefully I got I get more things to talk to you about later on. Probably after I cook dinner. I don't know really what to eat. So this is my dinner. So uh, this is something that Alin gave to me. This is her chicken curry. So I'm really excited to eat this. Uh, I just made rice with some chicken dippers just to add some <laughs> variety to what I'm eating today. Uh, and some pink lemonade. So yeah, very humble uh, dinner. It's just that I think I should probably go uh, to buy some vegetables <laughs> this weekend because I've not eaten any vegetables except for potatoes which is kind of sad yep. Hey, so ending the vlog uh, it's been a very tiring, tiring day so I probably just should stop the vlog now I don't think I'll be doing anything interesting after this uh, It's only 8 o'clock but this is quite late for me <laughs> actually uh, so I joined a few clubs uh, some of them have organize some social nights so I probably might be going I'm not really sure how uh, whether I'm going or not because most of the social gatherings are at pubs uh, I'm not really sure whether I'm comfortable to go to a pub so but uh, I think I might just risk it and just go and have some fun meet new people uh, but yeah well I'm pretty tired guys, uh, so yeah, just gonna end the vlog, I hope you had a wonderful day, uh, Selamat Hari Raya Aidil Alha to everybody in Malaysia, uh, I'm gonna spend my uh, Raya Korban just eating uh, nuggets and samosas I think, so I'll see you guys tomorrow, be good, always go with you after end of life, bye!